It was Rome, 753 BC. Heron from Alexandria had just finished his newest invention, a machine that when a coin dispensed into it released holy water. This is the basis of what we'll call hundreds of years later a stamp dispensing machine. Until in the 1880s it dispensed envelopes and it was officially named the vending machine. In the 1990s people would start using these for sodas, candies, and eventually evolved into crane games and so much more. So 20th century now, Switzerland has made a cheese vending machine and America a hamburger vending machine. Seems like they're running out of ideas. <laughs> right? Right? Canned bread vending machines, cat vending machines, dog vending machines, robot vending machines, robot vending machines, a vending machine that is so alone that it gives you a coke if you hug it. Wha this is definitely not the coolest thing ever made. Twitter vending machines, Snapchat vending machines, instant Judaism vending machine. Something's off about this vending machine. Contraception vending machine. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're getting a bit unholy. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Butter vending machine. America vending machine. Use pin. Use panties. Vending machine. The original use for this device was holy water. John is a normal man, works a normal life, he provides for his family, but one thing differentiates this man from the world. If John existed, he would be in my strange addictions for this guy's pure love of vending machines. This guy gets a chub anytime he's even in the presence of one. In the light novel, he even explains how he has a secret folder on his computer dedicated to these things. It's a Saturday afternoon, John's on his daily vending store admiring those beautiful squares. Or... What? Wait, if the vending machine falls at that speed, it'll break! I need to save it! We can all agree that the isekai genre has been milked to death. I know, groundbreaking stuff. Well, Reborn as a vending machine is by no means a ReZero or Mishoku Tensei. <laughs> but it's gonna send ripples through the entire anime industry. After becoming a vending machine, John can't move. I mean, yeah, he's a vending machine. I could only speak using some preset voice lines like, Welcome, you're a winner. Until he discovers he has one of the hardest isekai interfaces known to man. In some shows, it's like, Okay, let's see what power I should use, or I've unlocked a new skill. But I can't believe in an intense situation where the stakes are high, we'll get this. In this interface, he can change what he sells, the pricing, oh, and use the powers granted by the gods! So, let's go over this real quick. This man can't talk, he can't move, but can throw hands! Also, where even is he? Not being able to move has its mishaps. Days pass, a week passes, no customers, a frog just beats the shit out of him. John is just not having a good week. Suddenly, a lady appears and eats dirt. After John uses his power to protect the lady, the frog heads out. Or do they? The girl Lamis mistakes him for an enchanted object because who wouldn't? And learns to communicate with him using the voice lines. She names him Boxo. Boxo. John is a name I made up. Because if I had to use Boxo the whole time, it would have been just really dumb. After a night's rest, it's time for Lamus to head out. Wonder who will be the next customer. Holy fucking shit! He brings Boxo back to the village, yada yada yada. The synopsis says the world's gonna depend on him, so we'll see how that works out. So far, the manga only has seven chapters, but it's a pretty good read. But Chili, why is this getting an anime? It can't be that important or anything, right? Shh, shh. I see a sort of symbolism in the overuse of the isekai genre in a funny way with vending machines. An object that's main use is to fulfill your unhealthy desires but has been made to do so, so much more. But even with all these crazy variations, there are some that are just fun to look at. Some that are so bad they're good. Some that change everything. People say Isekai has turned into the trash TV shows of anime. It's the same every time. These resources could be used for way more. It's dragging the attention away from the shows that deserve it. And in a way, I agree. But I think there's good of both worlds. No matter what year or century we're in, these bad repetitive anime will always be releasing. And I think of that as a good thing, opening the door for more groundbreaking things to break the mold. Vending machines started with drinks, but became fun machines to play when you were out with your friends. Cheap money stealers, a way of life in some countries. In a way, it changed everything. 
Will Isekai ever die? No, not anytime soon. In fact, it'll keep getting bigger. With insane stories like a Mashoku Tensei and solo leveling animes on the horizon, Isekai will keep on growing and evolving. This is just one wacky anime about a vending machine, but its importance is a lot more than we think. The future of this genre is bright. Get excited. That's the end of the video. I pulled all of that out of my ass, and uh, please subscribe or 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 a little I'll, I'll cry. I'll, I'll literally cry. Uh, bye. Actually, no. I'm making a door door door. I'm making a door video next week. <laughs>